New this morning, federal prosecutors call former Punahou basketball coach Dwayne Ewan a prolific and aggressive child predator. In new court documents just filed, they say he should remain locked up and that he poses, quote, uh, that he, quote, poses an extremely serious danger to members of the community, including those he has previously victimized, end quote. They also say he is a flight risk. Ewan is charged with possessing child pornography. He was arrested by the FBI last week in Manoa. According to the federal criminal complaint, the FBI received information last year that Ewan allegedly possessed pornographic images of one of his former players. She was 17 at the time. He was 47. Look for more details on this story on our website and on our mobile app. Kamehameha Highway is back open at Waimea Bay. The road was completely closed for a few hours last night, so crews could reinstall a barrier to prevent potential rock falls from ending up on the highway. Crews also spent the day surveying the hillsides for any loose boulders. Department of Transportation crews are going to be out in Haula again to finish repairs on a portion of Kamehameha Highway that closed yesterday. A large sewer truck had one of its wheels stuck in a sinkhole around noon yesterday. Here's what DOT Director Ed Sniffen said led up to this sinkhole. Our crews sounded the area and found a 30-foot by 2-foot by 3-foot deep section where, there, where the material has been eroded out of, from underneath the shoulder. You can even... They checked and made sure that the lanes weren't impacted. It was just the shoulder. For now, that area has been filled with gravel so that Kamehameha Highway can remain open. The DOT is planning to begin a six-month project in the coming weeks to replace old barriers in that area with new ones that will last around five to ten years. But the Department of Transportation says this is a temporary fix and that a long-term solution will require monumental planning and funding due to climate change. So Hilo's side going to be damp. But remember, Hilo's suffering from moderate drought, so they'll take that rain for sure. So it will be damp for those windward areas over the next several days. Leeward side's not picking up a whole lot, but keep in mind, with those breezy winds, some of those windward showers will uh, drift over to leeward sides every now and then. Leeward sides will get just some light rainfall totals. So heads up, though, very strong winds today, tomorrow, and on Friday. Remember that wind advisory on for the entire state kicks in at noon today and goes until Friday. Friday evening. It could even be extended beyond that because the winds are going to back down significantly. They're ex uh, not expected to back down significantly. Just a scorch. So if the winds extend out beyond that, well, that advisory will be, uh, will be continued as well. And those winds will remain firm into the middle of next week. So it's going to be a bumpy ride for a while. This See It Now digital news brief is sponsored by Long's Drugs, bringing our heart to every moment of your health.